Are you new to pipelines? Not sure what's what or where to find something? Let's fix that. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. Now that you're set up to use pipelines, this tour will get you familiar with the interface. Let's jump right into pipelines. When we open pipelines, the first place we land is on the My Pipelines page. This is our homepage, our main dashboard where we can access all of the pipelines that we've built in the past. Using the search, we can filter to different pipelines that we've created in the past. We can also do that by accessing the tags if we have tagged them, and we can also filter by the specific channel being used by those specific pipelines. Really excellent way to organize and keep track of our pipelines. Here we also have the option to create new pipelines or import pipelines from an external YAML file. Within the pipelines themselves, we can edit, which will open the pipeline designer. Also access some additional information like scheduling, exporting, duplicating, viewing the activity, or in some cases, even deleting our pipeline. At a glance, we can also see which channels a specific pipeline is using and if the pipeline can be turned on or off because it is a triggered pipeline, we would see that toggle here as well. Here's an example of some with that toggle. If we click on a specific pipeline, we can edit the name, edit the description, as well as add these super helpful tags. In addition to the basic information, we can also see the run information. When was that pipeline last run? what kind of steps were billable, and what were the total runs for that pipeline. I'm zoomed in quite a bit, so you can't quite see the whole thing, but here's the basic information around the usage. Up here on the right, we can also see the overall usage for the account, the number of billable step runs remaining, and when that will reset. As a reminder, the quick base channel is considered a quote unquote free channel, but all external channels, as well as some of these helper channels, you do get charged step runs. Each account, depending on the account level you have, comes with a preset number of step runs. So something to be mindful of when you're building and creating out these different pipelines. Let's jump into a pipeline. Here on the right hand side, we can see our channels. Any channels that we have access to will not be grayed out. So notice a number of these here are grayed out because those channels were not enabled for me in the admin console. But everything I have access to, you can see here is nice and bright colored. I can also star any channels that I like in order to get easier access to them in this starred section. Channels that you don't have to turn on and off are these helper channels that are in these purple sort of circles, such as the JSON channel, the text channel, and the webhooks shown here. For each of these, we can expand and see the different actions that we can add to our pipeline, whether that's the triggers, other actions, and queries, depending on the particular channel that you're looking at. Each of these can be dragged and dropped onto the sort of designer canvas here on the left, depending on how we need to build out our particular pipeline. I won't go into building a pipeline here. You can access lots of information on that in my other videos and courses on pipelines and Jinja. Those are the channels here on the right. Now on the left, we have the designer itself. Now, as we pull different channels in, we can expand and collapse those along with the different information that is required for each of those steps within the pipeline. So this would be step A, and the next would be step B. Now, on subsequent steps, we can access information from prior steps, and that's what you see in this pop-up window here on the right. From here, I can actually pull information from the right-hand side into the step itself so that way I can use information that was obtained in prior steps later. Pretty cool. 
It's a really basic information on how the designer works, just to give you a little bit of a tour. Up here on the right, I'll have a few more options. Once I'm done with my designer, I can turn it on or off. This particular one begins with a trigger, so a record being updated, so I have the option of on or off. If it were something like simply add a record, I would have the option to schedule. So I can schedule when that record gets added because there's no action that someone else has taken, rather it's running on a schedule. If there are changes being made to my app, I can refresh the schema so that way the pipeline will have access to it. And as my pipelines run, I can check the activity for what's run in the past. This will show all the activity related specifically to that pipeline, but I can also access the activity log for every pipeline simply clicking on the activity log here in the main menu bar. These activity logs can be particularly helpful if you've had a problem or to even see if you've had a problem. Errors will show up in here. I'm sure I've had some like this with a big red error notification. In order to look through these logs, most important thing to realize is you can click into these input outputs, actually viewing the information that was coming in and the information going out in order to troubleshoot and understand what was happening. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail of using the activity logs here, but just know you wanna click into these in order to see the values that were coming in and going out of each step in order to troubleshoot. Up here on the main menu bar, I also have access to channels. When I click on channels, it'll give me some information on all of the different channels that are available in pipelines. Clicking on one of these channels, I'll get some information on how it can be used, the types of triggers, actions, and queries that I can create with that channel. I also have access to pipeline-specific help there's um, an entire help document from QuickBase related to using pipelines that you can access here. And if I am the Realm or account owner, I can switch to another user and actually view and utilize their pipelines. You will only have this option if you are the Realm or account manager. Over here on the right, I have a few different options than when you are normally uh, accessing this menu in QuickBase. I can head back to the main My Pipelines page, view recent activity that's been running through my pipelines, and I can access my preferences. Here on the preferences, I can see all of the different accounts that I've connected, I've actually logged into for my pipeline account. I can also delete, modify, update, reconnect these accounts here. And occasionally you may even need to access the account slugs in order to import pipelines coming from outside of your account. I also have access to more billing information for the account. I can set up connections to on-premise services like maybe a SQL database in this section here and give care access if I need help with some sort of troubleshooting or something along those lines. I'll head back to the main My Pipelines dashboard. Last, you may want to check this bottom corner for any announcements, updates, changes, any information QuickBase wants to share with us as they continue to improve, refine, and just make better this overall pipelines experience. Now, if this tour has you fired up about pipelines, check out my other videos and courses on Pipelines and Jinja at quickbasejunkie.com slash training. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe using the link below. You can also drop me a comment and let me know what you thought and what you enjoyed the most. And then head over to quickbasejunkie.com to grab one of those free downloads. <laughs> Bye for now. Using the link below. Using the link below. Bye for now.